If you are a content creator of any kind, you probably are always looking for some new ways that you can speed up your editing workflow and take your work to the next level. In this video, I'm going to show you a software that's going to allow you to literally do that because with its AI features, you can really just speed up a lot of your workflow and just make your life easier. The software I'm going to be showing you guys in this video is called Descript and it can make editing videos as simple as editing a document. If you are a communicator of any sort, whether you are a YouTuber, a podcaster, a TikToker, or a short form content creator of any kind, right? Descript is probably going to have some features which are going to be able to save you a bunch of time and make your videos even better. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. And when you first open up Descript, once you have signed up, this is what you are going to see. And I just want to thank also Descript for making this video happen and sponsoring the channel. So if you want to also follow along in this video, then make sure to sign up with the first link in the description below for free. And Descript has a bunch of different features, but in this video, I want to focus more so on their newer AI based features, which are really going to save you so much time. Let me just quickly go through all the different things you could do to get that out of the way. And then we can focus in on their newest and most exciting features. So with Descript, you can do obviously video transcriptions and edit your videos like documents, which is the whole idea behind the platform and kind of how it all started. But you can also do things like overdub voice cloning, creating audio formats from the videos. You can do podcasting with it. You can do multi-track recording, screen recording, regular video editing as well. You can publish with it. You can also get stock media through Descript, come up with video ideas, help you write descriptions and so many more. Now on the actual platform, when you open it up, you see they have this whole learn Descript uh, section as well, where you can find out about all of the different features that they have and how to use all of them. Now, when you want to get started making your first video with Descript, the first step you want to do is click here on new project. And then you can select whether you want to do a video project, audio project or a remote recording. I'm just going to click on video project right now. And I also want Descript AI to help me with coming up with the initial uh, script as well for this video. So I'm going to click here on Underlord, which is your AI sidekick when it comes to Descript. And then as you can see, it has a bunch of different features in here, which we'll get in into a bit deeper as well in this video. But I just wanted to help me um, to write a script for now. So you can give it, you know, the starting point, the tone is tone of it as well, the audience, you can give it examples as well and custom instructions. And you can also choose the length. Now, if you don't want a script, you just want to have like a bit of a brainstorming session or write an outline, you can also do that. So for example, I'm going to go into the brainstorm one and let's just say I want to make a video about uh, common mistakes that new YouTubers make. So I'm just going to put that in here. I'm going to click here on submit. And as you can see now, it's writing me an entire list or an entire script kind of for this video. Now, if I want to add this to my script, uh, I just click here on add to script. And as you can see, it added it in here. And I can also make, you know, more adjustments to it here. I can obviously uh, remove any sections. I can replace it. I can also ask Underlord to do uh, more things with it, like rewrite the whole section, for example, or change the tone, whatever it is that you want, you can pretty much get it done in here. Now I'm going to actually go ahead and record this and let's see how it goes. Okay. So now I have successfully recorded the quick video uh, with the exact script that I got from Underlord. So what I'm going to do next is actually upload that file. I just went ahead and recorded this with my phone. So I'm just going to go ahead and upload this right now. And as you can see, it's actually not only uploading the video, but also transcribing the entire sequence. So we would be able to use things like, you know, this uh, document style editing where we can literally just highlight, for example, a section in the transcription, delete that, and it will be also deleted from our actual video and also use all of the other Underlord AI features uh, that these scripts has introduced. So let's wait for this to quickly transcribe and upload and get started with the editing. All right, so as you can see, we have the entire video now transcripted, and we also have this timeline in here, which you can show and hide. Uh, so you can actually scroll through the entire video just like this. And let me show you quickly how the text-based editing works. So for example, uh, let's say I have this one here. Uh, if I wanted to just, you know, get rid of this entire section in the video and edit it out, it's as simple as highlighting it and then clicking on delete. And as you can see now, it's been deleted from my timeline as well. Now, obviously I don't really want to do this right now. So I will just undo that by pressing command and Z on my keyboard. 
but uh, it's literally as simple as that to actually edit your video. Now, I want to show you some of the really cool uh, AI features that will make your job for editing way easier. So for example, here's the sound good section of Underlord, and this is going to help you to just make the video flow better. We have things in here like shortening word gaps. If you have taken some longer breaks somewhere in your video, you can click here on shorten word gaps. So let's say I want every word gap that's longer than 0.7 seconds uh, to be shortened to 0.4 seconds. And now I'm going to click on shorten all. It has shortened eight word gaps, but this is just one of the features, right? Another thing you can do, which I love is the remove retakes feature. So if you are someone who sometimes struggles to get the whole script uh, right for the first time, which let's be honest, like everybody does, then you can just click here on remove retakes and it's going to cut all of the retakes. You will only get the best parts uh, in your footage. So I'm going to click here on submit and it's now analyzing the entire video. I can also see which ones it ended up cutting out. Now, sometimes the AI does make small mistakes, but then you can always just redo that. Just keep in the one that is correct. For example, here I've ended up uh, retaking this part three times and it only kept in the third and final uh, part, which was actually the take that I wanted to keep in. Doing this regularly, especially if you have like a half an hour long video, it can take a really long time but with this feature it can just take like under a minute even now once you are happy with the edits that it made for you you can click here and apply edits to script and it's going to actually cut them out as you can see in the final video as well another feature that can come in very handy which i'm going to show you in another video actually right now is the remove filler word so with this one you literally just click it you can select all the different filler words you have used in this video so for example well i have quite a lot in this one uh, 89 to be exact and then you can select what you want it to do with the filler word so i'm just going to click on delete and you can click on remove all and it's going to basically remove all the filler words that you have used in that certain video. It made a bunch of different cuts and just got rid of all the extra nonsense that I've said that isn't necessary to be in the video. It also has a feature called edit for clarity, which again will help to remove some filler word, digressions, just blather, right? Like anything that's not entirely necessary to get the point across, uh, it will get rid of it. Now, with this one as well, you just click it and it's going to find all the ways where you could cut down on your video to make it flow just a little bit better and get the information across faster here. So if I want to, I can just apply these edits to the script and it will get rid of those as well. Now, again, it's not going to be always 100% correct, but the whole idea behind this AI editing workflow is that it can cut down your you know, edits from let's say three hours to just 30 minutes by getting rid of all of that boring work that you probably don't like and enjoy doing anyways. So you can just straight up get to the more exciting parts of editing. And last but not least here in the sound good function of Underlord, you have studio sound, which if you just click, it's going to make your audio levels uh, more balanced and immediately make you sound just way better. Like if you record it with a much higher quality studio microphone, pretty cool, right? Now I'm going to go back into another video of mine for now in Descript. And this is another feature that I personally was blown away by. Um, so this one is the retake feature. So if you basically just select a word, let's say that you want to replace, you can click here on replace and you can actually overdub it. So it's going to automatically generate an AI clone voice version of your voice. And it's going to say the word correctly, like what you want it to say. So for example, if you make a mistake and instead of camera, you say whatever tripod, then you can literally just select the word you can replace it to what you were supposed to say and it's going to overdub it for you so you don't have to re-record the entire sequence. Now, I don't know if you could tell, but on this video, I was actually reading from a script and I was holding my phone that I was recording with right next to the script so my eyes would be as close to the camera still as possible. But if you are, for example, reading from a teleprompter or something like that, and you just didn't look entirely in the camera. They also have this feature, which I think is uh, pretty cool as well, uh, which is called eye contact. Now this is still in beta, but with this, you just click it and it's going to basically analyze your you know, face and it will just fix your eye contact. Just imagine if you didn't even have to look directly at the camera, instead you could just look a little bit lower and read your script 
how much faster would your recording workflow be? Now, I'm not saying that this is ideal, like ideally sh you should be looking at the camera so you don't even need to use this feature. But if you looked away for a little bit here and there, you can totally correct those parts with something like this eye contact feature of Underlord. So as you can see, here's how this looks right now. It fixed the eye contact completely and you can't even tell that I was looking slightly away. Now, I don't know about you guys, but me personally, I just hate doing stuff like creating summaries, show notes, YouTube descriptions for videos because I've already edited the video. I've already spent a lot of time and energy into doing it. The last thing I want to do is having to like rewatch it over and over again to take notes from it. So lucky for you, Underlord can also help with doing that. So for example, it can create an accurate summar summary of your content. You literally just click on it. You know, uh, you can give it examples and some instructions if you want, but I'm not even going to do that in this case and it's going to give you an entire like summary of what the video is about. Another thing that can be even more valuable, especially for you if you are a YouTuber, let's say, is you can create YouTube descriptions or you can also create show notes if you are doing more so like a podcast style. Um, so I'm just going to create a YouTube description in here from this specific video where I was covering a specific funnel that we use to make a certain amount of money with our content agency. And so this was more of a tutorial style video. It's a pretty tough one, to be honest, to summarize and create show notes from. But as you can see, we got the exact show notes. And if you provide this to YouTube, by the way, you're very likely to rank a lot better as well because YouTube likes when you give uh, these to, to you know the platform. And yeah, you can see it, it made like an SEO based as well, YouTube description with a summary of what they're going to learn in the video all the steps and key uh, kind of like chapters. Just for the fun of it, let's also do a show notes. Uh, so I'm just going to make it generate some show notes for me as well from this video. And you can see again, we have the chapters in here. And uh, again, just a nice description from the entire episode. Now, aside from the AI features, they also have obviously so many things in here, like for example, a bunch of different templates that you can use for your videos. Uh, you can also use the layers section, right? Where you can add your own B-roll in here, your own text, your own uh, photos, whatever it is that you need to add. They have a bunch of different elements from text to you know shapes, to waveforms, progress bars, um, a, bunch of different things, right? You can even add captions to your video in a super easy way. You literally just uh, select the, the caption that you want. It's going to apply it to your entire video. And since the entire video is already transcripted, as you can see, it added it to throughout the entire video uh, without any mistakes. You can see they have a lot of different templates you can use. So for example, this one even highlights the word that I'm saying at the exact moment. Aside from here in the media panel, you can find a bunch of different stock videos that you can just drag and drop to apply to your video. GIFs, uh, stock images as well, stickers, backgrounds, um, and so much more, right? Now, I hope you found this video insightful and I hope you can see, you know, just how powerful this AI technology can be. I didn't even have time to go through all the different features that they have in this video, but I will make a follow-up video on this as well. So stay tuned for that. And if you want to get started with Descript, just click either the first link in the description below or scan the QR code on the screen right now to get started for free. Thank you for watching until the end and I will see you in the next one.